See what we can do, man. Oh, wow. It's uh, 47k health red pally. I'm gonna do this just for entertainment purposes. I am going to get fucking deleted here. This is like cooldowns already. Oh. Oh, we're getting his health low. Aw, oh, just kidding. One word of glory and all my damage is gone, dude. Feels good. Okay. Talents and item level, guys, right here. If you guys want to copy those, feel free to do so. Uh, legendary, we're obviously using the crit legendary. Don't think that's ever really going to change too much. And we'll get a quick 5,000 crit on you. There's bubble. We're going to run away so we don't get one shot accidentally. As stated by the last time, we tried to kill a rat pally. I am definitely scared of them because they can literally one-shot people. A battle standard. Come on, man. We're better than that. We're better than that, dude. I can't believe he has 48k health unbuffed. That is so ridiculous. Well, that's the guy we have to watch out for. 48k health threat pally. I honestly thought health pools only went up to about 40,000. 42,000. But, you know, if it's going to be proven wrong, it's going to be proven wrong by a rat pally. Come here. Come here, holy pally. Then the rat pally's going to show up, and then it's just going to be a disaster. It's just going to be a fun time. Touch of death. Mm, okay, or not. Board up, help this guy out. Get a rising sun kick on him for no damage. Wow. Hmm. Where to go, where to go. I guess we will fight on objectives. I kind of want this, this honor and conquest just a tiny bit. Where's the geared red pally? How many pallies do they have, man? Just three? Okay. It, it, it seems like way more. There he is. Ah, oh, 42k health. I was right. It does seem health pools just kind of stop it after 42,000. Now we go on this guy. Get a rising sun kick off. 8,000. Not too bad. Hello, hello. Another rising sun kick. 7,000. Dude. Like, I don't know, man. This monk build where you just go for rising sun kick crits, is, it's definitely not too bad, but... I'm not sure if it's better than the haste talent or what. I, I really can't tell. This is such a competitive... Such a competitive seething shore as well. Play on hands, cool. Oh, there goes all my health. I was literally... <laughs> that was so fucking dumb, dude. Rep pallies are fine, Blizzard. Uh, uh, you don't need to touch them. I'm pretty sure that was just Divine Toll he threw, and it chunked, I think, three of us for a good, you know, two-thirds of our health. If Blizzard actually nerfs Red Pallies before 9.1 drops, I will be shocked and appalled, because I don't see it happening. Dude, we can do to this guy. Just stun both of them. Get a Fist of Fury off on these three paladins. I'm so dead here. It's ridiculous how fucked I am in this situation. Two boomies, three paladins. You don't get out of there alive. So I want a little update, guys. I will be doing a top 5 DPS classes here soon for Shadowlands. And also, speaking of Shadowlands, you guys should watch my WoW Shadowlands Twitch stream. At twitch.tv slash glasses upper left, we are doing a WoW token giveaway. April 30th, 5pm Pacific Standard Time. And also, we will be doing a drinking stream around the same time as well. Ah, uh, this is death. This is lots of death. So we pretty much have to sit on our healer the entire time. He was pretty undergeared, so I'm guessing he's just gonna get one shot in certain situations. 
as proven by the Red Pallies attacking him just then. Cool, man. Cool, cool. Literally two globals, I died. So again, Blizzard, I'm not sure if you can tell by the footage here, but Red Pallies definitely need a huge buff. Um, they're just unviable. Simply put, their mobility is trash, their damage is trash, their self-healing, straight trash. Like, there's, there's, simply put, there is nothing redeeming about Red Pally. I'm sorry, Blizzard, you, you gotta get, you, you gotta get, you gotta step it up, man. You gotta step your game up, dude. I'm tired of having to go against Pallies with zero competition. <laughs> so dumb, dude. <laughs> We really just have to hump our healer's legs in order for us not to get completely uh, demolished by the reds, so. I kind of have a personal vendetta for this red now, though, so. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll try and focus him a little bit. Come here, bring me that fucking pally ass, dude. Focus the red pally team, I believe. I believe. Fist of Fury here. Not gonna slow anyone. Just waiting. I'm waiting for the cleave burst. Here it is. I'm gonna karma. Oh, he bops it immediately. See how many people he 1v... 1... What is it? A 1v4 here? Oh, just just a casual 1v4, huh? Yeah. What, what am I to do there, man? <laughs> Dude. Oh, man. If, if you don't think Rhett Pally's are OP, just watch this video. Well, we sure as fuck won, but I feel like deep down in my heart, we lost to that pally about ten times. And on other news, I will be maining my red paladin and getting him 226 item level, 42k health, so I can 1v5 people. God damn it, I fucking hate red pallies. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, description, bell thing, Twitch, Twitter, all of those things. I dream slash have nightmares of red paladins every time I get done streaming at night. And I really, honestly, I don't think they'll nerf them. I don't, I, there, there's more of a chance of me chopping my nuts off than Blizzard actually, actually nerfing Rhett Pally before 9.1 drops. So, uh, roll Rhett Pally, guys. That's the conclusion. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'm not salty. Like, comment, subscribe, description, bell thing, Twitch, Twitter, all of those things. Rhett Pally's are, might be the reason people are quitting WoW. And until next time, take it easy, guys.